Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm here with What's Dev. Without any further ado, let's jump right into it. <laughs> this could be a podcast opener, dude. I like it. What's up? This is Kazi here from cleverprogrammer.com. Today here with Tenzin from What's Dev. That's right. And um, we are here with <clears throat> Aaron. You guys know me. Yeah. He's Aaron is the man on the Clever Programmer channel. This is the first episode of, um, what should we call it? Ooh. The Kazi the, Show. The, the Profitable Podcast. The Profitable Programmer Show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually good. The Profitable Programmer Show. Welcome, everybody. Uh, this, we're going to talk about, we're going to start off by talking about why developers don't get girls. And then from there, we're going to transition into a lot more things. So this is going to be probably one of the most authentic, transparent, and raw shit that you guys have seen on this channel. So if you're under 18, you should probably leave. But if you might get too raw, <laughs> yeah. But if you're <laughs> over 18 and you're excited, yeah. let's jump right into it. So and, and he's Tenzin from What's Dev. You know, I don't know if you guys know that okay, because he's been off the map a little bit. But <laughs> and this guy just opened up his new YouTube channel called. Yeah, I got my first subscriber Did yesterday. You? Yeah. This guy, dude. The first guy subscriber. YouTube channel for everybody. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's how you started, right? Pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. Peer pressure. Fucking peer pressure is everything. But yours is called, what is it called? Clever Programmer Aaron. So nice. it's kind of a branch of like Clever Programmer. It's, it's not my <laughs> own name. Fucking yet. RSD. Legend. Yeah. CP Aaron. Yeah, not CP Aaron, Clever Programmer. Aaron. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But CP Aaron for short. Nice, bro. I like Clever Programmer Aaron. That's good. Yeah. So um, you just came over here from Chicago. How's your trip? I did. How did so, how's your trip? Pretty long, you know. Any it's earthquakes on the on the plane? No earthquakes. <laughs> little, no earthquakes. Little turbulence, but you know, no earthquakes. But it was pretty good, dude. Yeah. It was a long, long flight, you know. Yeah. Slept a little. <laughs> rode a little. Really? Yeah. What'd you write? About my Uber driver today. Wait. I took I took my Lyft to the airport, and turns out my Lyft driver is a fucking traitor. Like a day trader or yeah. what? And you know what he said? You know what he fucking said? Mm, enlighten us, Tenzi. Yeah. He Seriously, said. Enlight- I'm curious now. Us. Yeah. He said he drives lifts for fun. Lift for fun. Yep. I've heard this Out actually. From, I've actually heard this from quite a few people. I like real M- Mustafa. Remember, he uh, had a dev- uh, not a developer. He oh, had. Uh, I'm just throwing that in there to just. Put captains on this shit right now. Yeah, the rev, the rev will be going crazy. Yeah, yeah. But Hindi. he got he got an Uber actually with this guy who was like a multi millionaire. At least the guy claimed he was. Okay. And then most of us was like, "Why are you doing this?" He's <laughs> like, "Big fan, bro. Big yeah, fan." Yeah, he's like, "Big fan." He's like, "Why are you doing this?" And then it turns out that that guy was driving the Uber purely because he has so much money. He's like a trust fund person almost. He was old, but he goes, "I just do this to meet fascinating people." I mean, that's that's the best way to do it. You, you literally get to have like a one-on-one interaction with what, yeah. five to 20 people a day. Dude, and that's, by choice. That's and being, that's being very car. conservative. Yes. Yeah. That's that's right. a- and, and do you think about it? Everybody that you're meeting is actually a person who has money. Right. Right? Like guaranteed. They can't even, and they have to be thinking at a certain level to take an Uber. Uh-huh. So like everybody who's getting in, I just feel like it's doing something in their lives. You know or what I mean? Or their shit face and their friend bought it for them. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that, that could be it too. But I feel like... Also fun. <laughs> I don't know, but I feel like it's a pretty fascinating way to like build connections with people. It is. You know? Because like everybody, even people who are like goofy as hell, they'll like know people. Mm-hmm. You know? I don't know. Like if I were to become a developer all over again, I'd start driving Uber and build relationships <laughs> I mean, with I'm everyone. Thinking, right? Networking. Making money? <laughs> Listening to coding podcasts, you should somebody should make a show like somebody. Some, what was the coding podcast we used to listen to in the beginning? Programming like, Throwdown. Oh, my oh God. that was good, dude. Programming Throwdown. I'm not on you guys' level. I don't even <laughs> know what they exist. Pull it up, pull it up, and like they still like, exist. Check it another out. Podcast. All right, so it's like, uh, the reincarnation. It's called of it. Programming Throwdown. We can, yeah, we can play Programming it's Throwdown. Still there. Yeah, it's got a lot of ratings. June nineteen, functional programming. They're still going, baby. They make I love a, functional programming. Yeah, they it's, they drop uh, like something every week, dude. They're like or every month at least. They're very um, 
Type I mean, I, mean, I, mean I don't know, man. January 15th and March 4th. That doesn't seem like they're dropping it. I don't know. You guys are dropping the ball, it seems like. Somebody tag them and make them see this. But, yeah, Patrick, I mean, I live... I mean, it has 460 ratings. You know what's Patrick crazy is when I used to either. listen to them, we didn't even have a platform. Now right. our platform is probably bigger than theirs. <laughs> Yeah. That's pretty fascinating. Works. Works. Pretty fascinating. Maybe they'll reach out to us and we can get them on the podcast. Dude, that'd be oh, like our dreams exactly. come true. That uh, would be pretty cool. They're actually really cool. So actually, let me just play a part of it. Dang, Jason Gucci. Oh, oh, oh shit, bro. Oh, shit. You feel out of the loop, Frankie? I feel out of the loop. <laughs> we, just, we can just turn up to this, yo. <laughs> yeah, I remember this shit, bro. It's like great. Episode Takes me back in the day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you got, got it. it. Wait, Jason. Hey everyone. So we we uh, got a lot of feedback on um, our interview with Jonas Bonaire. There's something about it, dude. I just love it's listening so to it. Yeah. Chill Yo, we need an intro. We need an intro song. That's what we need. That's true. For yeah. this, for this one, for the for the show. Every time we have a, we need an intro like they do. Every podcast has an intro. Like an intro. You know? Yeah, like a new song intro. That music right there, bro. Which one? The clever program. Clever. Podcast. <laughs> CPP. The, the music. Which that one? We found. Oh, an epidemic sounds. Okay, hold on. Yo, let's, oh, let's dude, that is out. sick. Yo, that oh is sick. Woo! You can even see the size. That oh, is shit. crazy. You know, you so guarantees is. you know guaranteed right, you know right. this shit's working. Okay, let me uh let me. That's insane. That is that is bro. actually pretty insane, bro. It even has. Like, let me go on epidemic. You were so many yeah, times you're... just freaking not like you think Seriously. it's on, but it's not on. And after it's... two hours, of yeah, 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 recording hard work. Yeah, S- sweats coming out, and then you're like, oh fuck, I forgot. This like you'll be thinking you're I screen recording a tutorial right. for coding for right. developers, <laughs> and then all of a sudden you'll look and it's, it's not even recording for developers. Oh, God. Or it doesn't save. <laughs> <something. laughs> I'm just maximizing it, bro. <laughs> trying to make this podcast trying to make people understand as you know? relevant as possible. I'm I'm just mm-hmm. trying to. Dude, uh, where is it? So I have like right in the feels um, section. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, no. So this shouldn't be the opener, right? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> all is right, all right. Joke? How about this? How about you this? Pick a few and let them choose for episode two. Like the viewers of episode one should choose. It. Yeah, what was the last one? Last one, last okay, one. Okay, how about this? Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> how about this as our opener? Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm here with What's Dev. Without any further ado, let's jump right into it. <laughs> this could be a podcast opener, dude. I like it. All right, let's try another one. Let's let the people choose as well. If you like this one, drop number that timestamp. That's number one. Okay, we got <clears throat> another one. All of these have the same formula. See this one? <laughs> That's my no, favorite. Not this one. Wait, let just, me see the drop. Let just yeah, yeah. Just give it. We can, we can this skip to it next time. All right, yeah. let's do it. <laughs> this shit's lit, dude. It's lit, but not for a podcast. Yeah, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel. Just... Okay, okay. So it's very. Uh, it's, it's almost monotonous. It's not monotonous, but it's just like the same beat, you know. All right, let me. It, let the me. Rhythm s- doesn't change. Yeah. Not a lot of. You know. Variation. There's not enough of uh, a or spice there. All right. Pizzazz let me see if I can find. Spice. Let, like it's spicy. Yeah, this guy talking really about really pizzazz weird. and weird shit, dude. <laughs> pizzazz. <laughs> We're talking uh, about spices, dog. Hold on, let me uh, go to. I think I made a. Fi- oh, oh no! I I made epic music. I think it should be in here. Yes, how I did. What? Oh, oh, this is it. This is it. <laughs> this is pretty good. Uh, but I gotta. We gotta change our voice to it. Be like. Hey, welcome hey, to the podcast, you guys. Hey, what's two. up, guys? How's it going? This is Kazi. Wait, I'm here today with. Does it drop, Aaron? Aaron Bernath and Tenzin from What's Step. All right, guys, let's get right into it. I think it, this needs a little bit of that. All right, all right. This is a... Uh, so so you I guys can know. vote. They can vote. All right. Every episode, different, different one, dude. All right, we'll just like... Every, everyone's play. happy. I think we'll just play. I found a solution. I think we'll just play it from own, here. Everyone. Yeah. <laughs> all right, now, the t- now let's get to the main topic, boys. Why don't developers... Get girls. Uh, I got dumped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kayla. Oh, oh, she fucking dropped the name. No, no, no. She might I don't know, man. You tell me. Oh, what do you think? Shit. I mean, I earned this expert here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I laughed. I didn't get it, but it was pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. It's 
Uh, um, <laughs> you can probably get the gist of it, the context. I don't know, dude. I think, I feel like, like if they don't really connect with people that much, you know? What do you think it is? I mean, I can actually talk from fucking experience. All right, all right, talk, talk to me. <laughs> what, what do you think it is? Um, what do you think? Why do you hmm. think it's the case? Well, well, I don't know. I hope she's not gonna fucking watch this. But um, <laughs> <laughs> she never, she never gave me a reason, so I actually don't know why. But yeah. I just have theories. I just, I was kind of a loser back then, like staying up all night playing video games. Just dude, this shit just got real. Blah blah blah. Fuck. You know, like not talking to anybody. I only hang out with her. I didn't see any of my friends. I wasn't doing anything with my life except going to school. Right. So it's like. Just be kind of lose. Like she didn't even know why. She probably just picked up on that low, that low energy and that kind of like social awkwardness that I used to have. Yeah. And then um, it's probably like in general terms, that's pretty much it. I mean, like right. there's so many different like variations. You go down different personalities and whatnot, but pretty much it's just a lack of like outgoingness, ambition, and with that you're just kind of like huddled down. You're hermit, like you're just fucking like staying up all night, get the shower, whatever. Yeah. Playing games, other things. Right. <laughs> But, like, don't you feel like the complacency was encouraged in your relationship and then that ended up being the downfall of it? Like, what do yeah, you think about... Um... <laughs> Wasn't this supposed to be my first YouTube video? We're supposed to talk about fucking breakup my first YouTube video. Hey, that's Which... great. <laughs> that's great. This is not it's your a, first it's YouTube an on, video, It's an ongoing dude. joke. It's an ongoing yeah, joke. Yeah, this is ongoing. Um, yeah. I think it, it was, yeah. I just wasn't ready. Like, just too young. Not ready for a serious relationship. Even right. though I thought I was. But... yeah. Even beyond that, if I didn't have a girlfriend, I'd be in the How same shit. Right I'm 24. Yeah. This How old were you when that happened? I'm 24, baby. I just turned 23 like a month. Three ago. days from my birthday. Come on, so let's I get it. It's been like a year, shit. year and a half. Over a year and a half. So okay. I'm long over it. But. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> I don't know. What are your thoughts on this? I think um, not just developers, but most people suck at dating and relationships right. and they don't get girls. Mm. Girls. Because, you know, everybody right. wants Especially 10. JavaScript Everybody developers. wants 10 or yeah. 9. But I think most people suck because they just don't work on it. Right. They think it's just like a natural skill. Right. I don't even know what natural means, but most people use that and it's like, yeah, it's, it's you got to learn that. Yeah, you got to learn that. You have it. to go yeah, through rejections it. and, you know, people, people don't want to do it. Yeah. And ultimately, I think it comes down to just being okay with rejections and most people are not okay with rejections mm. and not just, again, not just, the incessant you know, males. Texting. The incessant texting and like, phone calls versus face-to-face -face interaction too, like the ratio was way off. Like I would see her once or twice a week, but we'd text every day for four hours. So that Jesus. Would, that would fuck. That That's would fuck so much hours. content. Yeah, like four You know hours how texting, engaged your audience would be games. if you spent four hours messaging Man, them back? Nurturing yeah. each other for four hours Lead. every day. That's, yeah. that's well, nurturing. it wasn't like a, a four hour You were focused on, like, saying. you weren't yeah. focused on the cat there. You weren't, you weren't focused on the customer acquisition costs. You were focused on the LTV, baby. Something Long term like game. Lifetime value. Long term game, you know? Lifetime vagina. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I don't know where she is. I now. think, okay, so I don't know. I have mixed feelings on it, but I, I want to go back. Your thoughts? I want to go back to your point. I think I agree with that you say people attach their, I feel like people attach, most men attach their ego to things like girls. Like most men think they should just be good at girls. Right. They think they should just be. They think they are good with girls. Right. And, and it hurts their ego otherwise. They, mo just like most men think that they're good at fighting. Exactly. Nobody can throw a punch for a shit. We Not learned even it. A jab. We learned it by getting our asses kicked. Exactly. Right. Uh, in boxing, jujitsu, whatever have you. And people also then bring that over to thinking that they can, like, they should naturally be good at getting clients. You know what I'm saying? Like people bring that in into everything without actually practicing and making it. I think that's why people suck. Like most developers especially suck with girls because most of them because are introverts. Right? Exactly. And then they don't, they think this should be good. It's, yeah, right. and it's so easy to huddle down in front of a computer. Because they've been fucking there. told that if you get a degree mm -hmm. and you go to college, you're not only going to get unlimited bitches mm -hmm. you're also gonna get like jobs and you'll never run out of them mm -hmm. and they think that everything like once they get that degree everything will just happen by what? itself didn't happen <laughs> it didn't happen like that i it doesn't i don't think it ever does right do you have your degree did you graduate or did you drop out to like that? come on dude <laughs> how's the how's the fucking leader how's in the fucking I was oh were you, my shit. you you were the, I you like, were the drop i don't leader. give a fuck oh, i was looking shit. at them i'm like pretty good dude 
<laughs> Pretty good. Peace. Yeah, he doesn't. You were the official person who uh, who was getting all of your friends around you, including me, to quit college. Oh, right? you were the catalyst. I but, thought it was but, you all this time. But I'll take credit for getting my friends to quit jobs around me. God, but <laughs> what did I do? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, you yeah you didn't quit. Um, College, but that's okay because he's using it. Very you don't have to. You no, quit no, no, college. You it's not like oh, you have to quit college. No, 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 you don't. Okay, it's not you nothing don't. like but, that. But but the problem is that most people just make it their everything. They don't actually spend any time coding no, on their own. Yeah. They don't spend going out trying to get clients. Was, just make me. it everything. Yeah. Just like me. people will like, find one girlfriend in their life right. and then just hold on to her for the rest of their lives. Exactly. It's kind of getting lucky to be honest. Right. Yeah. But hot Asian. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. <laughs> I you know I feel like it's a it's a I think it's bad to actually get one of your first girlfriends to be way hotter like kind of out of your league. They were both hot. I, I had two, yeah. two long term. I think four that's years I think that's back. actually a disadvantage. That's like right. a, that's like a kid who gets a trust fund from his parents and yeah. now like nothing. They don't they don't know the hard yeah. way and then yeah. when like they, when that girlfriend dumps him yeah. and eventually she will dump him. Yeah. Because that's just how life works. Yeah. He doesn't know what to do. No, that's where I was, but it ended up being the best thing that ever happened to me. Changed my what? life. Breakup? The breakup. Yeah, oh, breakups are always the best. They're the best. Always man. the best. Fuck yeah. This was, guy, was my friend, like weeks, me, I, everybody I started changing. Exactly. <laughs> like they broke up. I put and moved on forty-five on. pounds. Like I started going to nightclubs. I went to fucking EDC. And, and a good, just to provide context, he put good forty-five pounds on because he was skinny like me. So he needed to put on weight. And after More he broke up, he. He started putting on weight and how, he got jacked. How much do you weigh now? I'm like 150. I was 172 a year ago, but I lost it when I moved here because I was learning a lot of business stuff and I kind of okay. fell off my calories. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, you we don't... We were grinding, bro. We <laughs> yeah, were grinding. We were. Okay. Bro, we're that like, how sense. close are we to one mil? Pretty fucking close, dude. <laughs> I saw 970. Close. Yeah. 970. We're very close. I mean, let's be honest. It's already <laughs> over that YouTube ads, baby. Come on, man. <laughs> July. By ju- hopefully in July, we're hitting our first mil. I'm really excited about that. Camera guy, Frankie, back here. We couldn't do things without him. Yeah. And I know somebody in the comments is going to be like, oh my God, they're making so much money. We have zero profit because we reinvest into this business, into those lights in the background, Mm -hmm. and into the team. I don't know why, but that just will make people happy. Like, I know that. Like, saying that we have zero profit, which is true. You've made Which is actually true. And you spent Right. All, like, all of it on Clever Program, but just on makes rent. everyone happy. Like, there are a few things that just make people really happy when they hear them. I don't, mm-hmm. I never really understand. <laughs> but there's a general consensus that's like, oh, that's amazing. People yeah, just we're like seeing, like... Like people, what, all, people, people just like seeing people on YouTube like lose. Right, like, I, just, I think like, so. Like they see Gary V, they complain about Gary V. Right. They see uh, Grant Cardone, they complain about Grant right. Cardone. Ty Lopez, they complain about everybody. Right. And then when they fuck the, up, any when person they fuck who tells up, them it's possible, they're like, "Oh, that's a scam." Yeah, yeah, exactly. But anybody who tells them it's not possible and it's insanely hard and you need like four degrees before you can even go take a piss. They're like, that's the truth. Hmm. Yeah. You know? So I, I was one of those skeptical people. Like I never like even even to this day, sometimes I don't know. I mean like I know the oh, word. You wanna like, talk skeptical, baby? <laughs> this guy This guy was a fucking The biggest skeptical. Humongous. Ever. Oh yeah. Yeah. Gargantuan fucking yeah. truck driver. That's true. That's true. Like uh, I was and telling and him and about everything. marketing, yeah, yeah. SEO, and oh Ramit Sethi. Okay, Ramit Sethi. If you guys don't know who Ramit yeah. Sethi is, it's you guys should uncle. definitely follow him. <laughs> exactly. It's his uncle. <laughs> no, no, we're not, we're not fucking kidding. It's I, I told this guy for two and a half yeah, years. Somebody's going to ask me, are you both Indian? Somebody's <laughs> two and a half years. I'm like, dude, dude, that's the guy, bro. That's the guy. That's yeah, that's the, the guy, guy you want to link up Just to. Just like, ignore. And then... And then <laughs> And then one day, all of a sudden, it's like, dude, you know, this guy's pretty good. Yeah. I, I don't remember if he said that, but, you know, yeah. <laughs> I just assumed it went something like that. Yeah. And now $970,000 later. Exactly. Thanks to this Chinese guy. Chinese, <laughs> Korean, Asian? You told me dude, about Ramit, matter, you told me about Ramit <laughs> Sethi, and I didn't, I didn't believe that Ramit Sethi. Because, you know, I was in the same boat as people because I hadn't made a dollar online. Hmm. And so I believed everybody who taught about making money online was a scam. So, like, I thought Ramit Sethi was not real. Um, I thought Neil Patel was, like, hoax. I thought Pat Flynn was all, like, 
talk and nothing real. Exactly. Like for no reason. That, like literally for just because they talked about money, I thought that they were just like fake. Right. And that's precisely the reason why developers or most guys don't get girls too. Right. Because there are videos online, yeah. RSD, right? RSD videos, ton of videos online oh, RSD showing deleted a lot of their them videos. showing like how to get girls. Yep. How it's actually done, not like all that, you know, Woo 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 shit like yeah. just, oh, be, just nice. Be, nice. be nice be confident be nice like, like, like empty <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh, what happened no 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 keep getting no no, no yeah, not yeah, you no. it's an inside joke we burn him with it we call yeah. him woo woo master all the yeah. time yeah. Woo-woo he's trying to get under his skin okay, 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 because yeah. he does meditation stuff so we keep burning him on it and today yeah. he almost cracked yeah <laughs> <laughs> That's Frankie, everybody. This guy is untriggerable. He's, untriggerable. he's working way too hard there. He's, he's, he's very resilient. I got good practice. <laughs> <laughs> you use your left hand. Was... He got jokes! What? <laughs> he's funnier than us. He should be fucking running this. I should be behind that camera. Yeah. The fuck, Aaron. Yeah, man. I think... Uh, one is, yes, you can just look up how to get good with girls. Like, literally, and study it. Like, take away all your ego, put it aside, take it in a little box, throw it away. If you don't have results with girls, you need to study it and learn it and then practice it. If you don't get results getting clients, you need to study it, learn it, and practice it. Most people, they spend all their time just educating themselves, and then they're just like, not getting a job. I'm not getting a job. We've all been there. We've all been there at some point. Right. I mean, but you gotta work on I stopped yourself. being yeah. there at the age of like 16, bro, because I worked my ass off trying to figure out how to get jobs. I know you did too. Like from a very young age, you were I hustling had, and like. I had more jobs. I have. You have more. One hundred percent have more jobs than every one of you like, combined. Right, more combined. You have done more different jobs than every one of us combined. I would quit. I would quit jobs like this three months. Right. Oh, I can't do it. This is not me. Yeah. Mm. This guy, job, quit, better job. this guy got a job. This guy got a fucking churn rate yeah. was like. What? This guy got a job as a developer. He quit like literally like fucking weeks later. As a later. developer, how much are you five getting days. paid? Five days later, bro. Did you get paid five for the five days? I don't know. Dude. He quit uh, right after the five days. He got it. Huh. Yeah. But this now wasn't for you. What are you doing now? I know you have your what's dev channel. Is that bringing same you? thing? Yeah. He just, just went through. I'm his just. Watch. I'm just ten times less active, but. <laughs> He's still, yeah. But same thing. But he so has spent, smart, smarter with the But expenses. he literally has so many less expenses, so it doesn't matter. Exactly like, he's literally said, more yeah. profitable than us. Yeah, that is true. Like he has more money than me. That is true. And me. Right. Combined. Yeah. All I'm of us Frankie. combined. <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah. All of us. Mom, if you're watching this, um, I love you. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, you know, I, I feel like if they just detach their ego from it, one, and two, just... um. You know, start going fucking out. Yeah. Or is that too difficult? That's, that's, that's the first. That's difficult, bro. <laughs> it is. That's the that's first right. step. He <laughs> said it is. It that's, is. First step. that's the first step. So wait, hold on. Let me get this right. I So I don't just like, after becoming an insanely incredible Python or a JavaScript developer, just get a line of girls like outside my door and I need to install revolving doors. Is that what you're telling me, dude? That's exactly what, what I'm the doing. fuck? Yeah. Yeah. That's unbelievable, dude. That's exactly what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so what do I need to do, man? You're uh, the doctor. <laughs> you're the love doctor here. Always have condoms on you. I got it. Okay, because I mean there's too many girls. Right. You gotta be safe. Got it. Mama always said you gotta be safe. That's scary. right. And I listen to my mom. My code is always do my code you do is always well. safe. I write safe code. I make sure that Maintainable. when I'm writing it in Jinja and Django, like when scalable, you can't like I escape my HTML. So when somebody like you know put something in, like right, they can't attack. Yeah, the I pass a saf- safe filter. I got you. That's right. Injections. The, the injections. So the SQL injections. I'm safe against the SQL injections, dude. I'm safe as if, fuck. What if it's no SQL? <laughs> That's true. MongoDB, no SQL. I don't know. Then, then I'm, you're starting to lose me. Yeah, I actually don't know much about databases. That's all good, bro. Yep. But he knows about C. Pl- like he knows you about the real YouTube shit. No, 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 <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. He knows. No, about- I got one subscriber. <laughs> Dude, this guy's I'm super sick. humble, but this guy knows about the real shit. He's like full on. Fuck me, the real shit. No, this guy is like 
full on C++ I, I, no, I, I data what you're structure. He knows like, how to code, but like C++ is real shit. And I'm like, yeah, I, I'm way past that, dude. Yeah. Back then, I'm like, yeah, dude, C++. If you understand it, bro, if you learn it, that's the the real programming, bro. That's real programming. Oh my god. But that's no, what I'm assembly, saying. You know? Inline MIPS assembly or that, times eighty six. That's what I'm talking it about. Studio oh, dot shit. H. Yeah, oh. Studio dot H. Coding Cobalt on my left hand, Pascal on my right. Oh man. Cobalt on my left hand, Pascal on my right. Yeah, oh, I don't know. Brain fuck is where it's at. Ooh. Mm. White space. Or have you ever looked into white space programming language? I have not. It's literally made of all white space. language. No, look, oh, Chef, I know. Yeah. Chef, there's brain fuck, which is the hardest programming language on the planet. Mm. Pull it up, pull it up. And then, and then, uh, yeah, pull it up. This is uh, recording the screen, right? So there is... Uh, I've never heard of this. Show me. So white space programming uh, language is actually pretty nuts. Don't Google this, you guys. Go out instead. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> so here's what some of the white space programming language looks like. Right there. Uh, That's it, why it's called white space? Yeah, correct. If <laughs> you just did it for fun. Right. If you they highlight... They were so bored. They're like, you know what? Let's create a fucking programming language out of nothing. Yeah. <laughs> nothing. If you, if you highlight it, this is what it looks like. So this is uh this is the first general AI in white space. <laughs> I'd like to uh, announce it to the world. That's actually a lot. This is actually not... White space because your lines going yellow. through. This is too much code on a it. A little bit. It's actually yellow space. So, but um, but look at this. This is when it's highlighted. This is actually what it looks like when you highlight it, and mm. it's all based on white. How, how many white spaces spaces you have? So each line is different. Each like different thing character. means different thing, right? So it's literally like coding. Top programming. <laughs> top programming <laughs> language top. of twenty twenty. You know what? I've been, and moving forward. You know what? I want to make top five worst programming languages of twenty nineteen. Mm. Nobody's made that. Ooh. I feel like that would kill. I saw yeah. I saw one, but yeah, not not many do. Right, but the one you saw was was that good? No, not that no, right. Good. But if we I made didn't see it, it, but I'm sure it's not that good. <laughs> we could make it pretty good, right? Yeah, pretty good. Okay, great. Yeah. That's good. Then I won't make it. <laughs> 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 I just need to know if we're gonna make it good. Then we don't need to actually make it at all. Yeah, yeah. Our own. Our own um, here's good. here's another esoteric programming language. So this is that. Here's brain fuck. Uh, it looks a little bit like this. It's pretty nuts. Oh, I right. mean, I will never understand. No, bro, that's Lisp. Have you not seen Lisp before? It's No, it's way worse than Lisp. <laughs> Lisp is pretty crazy. Lisp well. is pretty cool. Lisp, it is. Lisp, is pretty Lisp cool. Scheme. Lisp, Remember when we... The, when we learned the, Scheme, isn't Mike Lisp Tyson actually language. easier than Scheme or or was it? No, or scheme, was it something scheme else? Is a sub, like almost like a subset of Lisp. Okay. But Lisp I'm trying to like remember what was the closure we were trying to learn. And closure actually had a little yeah, bit more not, functionality yeah, yeah, than yeah. scheme. Don't, right? don't, don't when, listen to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we were doing scheme and then we went to closure, we were like, oh my God. For me, I felt like closure was so much easier than scheme. Even though closure is hard as fuck. But because we went through that book, right, right. learn, uh, what, what was it? Scheme. Schemers. Little schemers. Little schemers, right? Yeah. Once we went through that book, Little Schemers, when we went to Closure, that was actually a joke. It's the best joke. book out there. Like, it's the that best. book was so good. If you want to go deep, so if, good. You, if you want to become a deeply great programmer, like deeply good and just do something for entertainment, I don't think it'll help you that much with projects, but Recursion, you will understand the shit out of Recursion. All right, let me you open will, up. You will become one. Little schemers. <laughs> I mean, what that accent so here's the little schemers with the little elephant uh, <clears throat> popping it up over here. You know, honestly, when I think about my first, like, my ex, like, back in the day when I was becoming a developer. Uh-huh. Is that your seven-year wow. girlfriend? That, that was a hard... Joke? That was a hard turn, baby. Yeah, <laughs> didn't see that one coming. That's right. That's what the podcast needs to be. You know, like right, just right, giving right. people ADHD. Like they should just not see anything coming. Right. And moving it. The Logan know? Paul effect. Right. The Logan Paul effect. Mm. And I thought about it, and I was like, man, the seven-year-long relationship. Yeah, you know, that's a long relationship. And I mean, like, what's next? Ten years? Holy right, shit! Right. That's crazy. And she, uh, you know, like I was in there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This guy just burned that guy because that guy's in a 10-year relationship. He just got out of it. But not really. He's still kind of in it. Yeah, yeah. And if he ever, if they ever meet in person, then <laughs> it's basically 11 years now. We know what's going to happen when they meet in person, right, mm -hmm. Frankie? <laughs> mm -hmm. But anyways, going back to the thing, you know, I was like, man, I felt like I was becoming more and more introverted every day because I would just keep staying at home and keep staying with her. And like, ding, ding, ding. Right? You know? And uh, I was just becoming a super lamer version of myself. Like the version she wanted me to be, like she said she wanted me to be, 
but then at, at the end I found that that person was kind of like a loser and she started to figure out that person was a loser and so then it was just right. kind of like it's not crappy. it's not exactly. the relationship no it's it's just you at the end of the day right yes. right it's just yes. it's just ourselves right yes. and when we're not there our relationships not gonna work our business is not gonna work our, we're not gonna learn programming right and do anything successfully because we're in that mindset and we have a poor people mindset and Correct. Uh, and uh, unattractive people mindset so we're gonna remain unattractive that's right yeah, I wasn't reading books all that you know that's exactly right. like the, know the, the, the day we started reading books yeah I'm like yeah. 30 fucking books changed. in I'm 30 yeah. books audible.com yeah. changed my audible like our net life. worth were like our potential net worth was compounding you know like crazy we, we sat on compounding yeah, that's, actually a, that's actually a really smart way to think about it like if there was a graph and let's say our, our, in our life, our potential net worth would just go on to be like this at the age of 65. After we started And knowledge is books, just that, right? It started fucking going like this, dude. And knowledge this is, is just that potential power. Potential. Right? Whoever said true. that. So mm. it's like potential net worth. Until you execute on it. So the potential That's goes right. up. Yeah, and then, yeah. And yeah. then the you execute it, it becomes kinetic. And then know? execution <laughs> is waiting on it. Physics, Today, bro. I like That's, this guy. Yeah, this guy is, Shit, this guy is Asian smarter shit. than he looks, too. He dropped out of college. I look that dumb. Fuck man. No, you just look that good. Well, Seriously. <laughs> I tell this to my girlfriend too all the time because she looks super hot, and mm-hmm. so I'm like, "You're smarter than you look, baby." She gets super offended, but <laughs> I'm like, thing "It's Frankie, right? literally because you look hotter." Mm. Yeah, that's the issue. Right. That's the problem. Because mm. she throws me off with her intelligence. I never expected. It. It's the best kind of person. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. And he's sm- he's not. Now smart. that you think about it, yeah, she does look smarter than she looks. That's right, she is smarter than she looks. That's the thing. This guy, he's he's smarter than he acts. Because he's always acting goofy, but that's, motherfucker that's getting is a smart. little deep. But I, I I'll pretend. I'll, I the first time he told me that, I was dying laughing because yeah. I was like, I love that so much. It's my identity. Yeah, because he's my really identity. smart, but he always just acts goofy and he plays around a lot. Like for example, okay. Just the other day, I've known him so much, right? <clears throat> for like 10 hours a day, I've known him for the last like five months, okay? Mm-hmm. Like literally 10 hours a day. That's all. Yeah. I know him more than I know my girlfriend, okay? Same. There you go. Yeah. And this guy just found out like last week, Frankie and I found out that he's been, he's a drummer and he's been drumming for 13 years. When are we jamming? Let's let's go tomorrow to a studio. Oh, let's God. jam. Baby. I'm not good at drum set, but uh, like percussionist, like I can do oh, all okay, kinds okay. of drums okay. and shit. That's drum cool. set, I can. Yeah, that's still pretty cool. cool. That's really all really kinds cool. of drums and shit. Taiko drums. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He has I mean, like pretty good at the real drums, drums too. You, like, know yeah, drums set, yeah, you know can, how I know. You know how I know he. You know how I know he's really good. You know how I know he's really good because he doesn't talk about it. He doesn't have one single piece of content online about it. That's how I know he's really good. Anybody who's really good, they're so judgmental, they never put out content. They're all, you like that, always know like they're that the perfectionism best. perfectionism. That's that right. Comes out. That's right. My girlfriend is incredible at boxing. She doesn't have a single. The one video she, she has. Does have one, you, no, the one video she had on her YouTube, she went two years later and deleted it. The one she had about boxing. But now she has one. Because now of me. I posted exactly. it, you know? But she's a perfectionist. I'm not a perfectionist. I just posted something that wasn't even that great, but I just put it out. Right, right. That's why I love you, bro. Yeah, that's you're the balancer, you know. I'm a fucking all the way to the extreme, and then you're like, "Yo, <laughs> yeah. bro, that's the wrong way, dude. Yeah. You went too far. You gotta grab yourself. Come back. Yeah. I touched the butt. <laughs> yeah, you went too perfectionist. But the cool thing that happened was, uh, you know, that other girl that I was talking about. He was talking with. He did get to make out with her. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. It doesn't matter, dude. You're 24. Yeah. Dude, you'll be you know how deep in your content she would have to be to watch it? We're like 30 minutes in. Yeah, sure. If she watches this, I it's mean, she, totally yeah, worth yeah. it. Just don't drop the name. I'm not yeah, dropping the name. Yeah. It rhymes with Harikari. I would. <laughs> I would drop the name, but I don't know it. So. Yeah, you don't know the name. Don't tell me, don't tell me. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you. <laughs> oh shit, it's not you. It's not you. <laughs> <laughs> right in the phone. Yeah, so that was great. So you made out as a developer. Yeah, it That's happened. Great. I got lucky for once. Right? No! No, fuck that. We had like a six hour long conversation. We did. And that helped. And yeah. yeah. You went in there with a plan. I went in there with, the, the, plan right, of with the right belief system. Yeah, right. with a different belief. That's all I need. What was the belief? Mm, 
that it was okay. What was and okay? that it was okay to try. And then if it didn't yeah. work out, it would be fine, man. It's fine. Wow. Still good friends. And and we know that she's going to be leaving, right? So once she leaves, would you be happier now with this, what took place? Or would you be happier if you never actually stepped up and took action? Uh, I'd be happier that I, I took the step and proved it to myself. She knows that too. I told it to her. Yeah. And she agrees. Yeah. It just makes everyone respect you more. Mm-hmm. Just had to be done. You got to rise to the occasion sometimes. Man. That's right. It never ends. Never ends. Never ends. You know? It's a beautiful thing. So what's the solution for a developer who's like, all right, man, like, look, you guys have stuck the knife deep enough into my wounds. This is not feeling great. <laughs> I'm not feeling great watching this content. I'm about to oh, shut it shit. off. You guys have gone too far. It's gotten too real. Um, and the developer is just like, fuck, this is it. But he has all the emotional leverage in the fucking world. He's ready to fucking take action now. So what's the next step for him? Like, should he just start going crazy, start going to clubs? Like, what the fuck? Hmm. Probably, right? I, I'm actually a believer that you need <laughs> some so kind good. of... You need some kind of event to give you enough emotional leverage, positive or negative, that you don't have control over. Yeah. Like almost death, right? Like, yeah. yeah, Death level. Like like a lot of people, it's breakups. That was for me. A lot of my friends who've gotten breakups and they turn around and they're making fucking six figures drop shipping in Chicago. I have a couple friends who did that. Um, People whose family members died. Like if the the father passed away or the brother passed away or something. Like anything, anything that'll spike your emotions enough It'll snap you out of your shit and interrupt the pattern. And then you can actually commit to something different for long enough for it to become at least a bit of a habit. Get and then commit. you can Exactly. That's so fucking nerdy. But, um, yeah. This is a nerd show, bro. Yeah, it is. I'm just trying to keep, like, throwing in something relevant, you know, because they won't get the girl thing you're talking about or we're talking about. Or they might. Like, we don't know who's get watching commit. this. That's true. Girls could be watching this. Hi. Girls help Dude, us. I have a lot of RSD fans, bro. If, girl, <laughs> if girls are watching this... Drop in the comments how guys can actually win. Yeah. How can they win this game? Like, like yeah, like like when we walk up to you, like you want us to be like a man, not a little boy who's scared of shit, right? right. So help Some us. Some wise old men once said that Details. you should not take girls' advice. Yeah, from that's girls. true. No. Oh I yeah, guess. yeah, yeah. You yeah. really the, should. The, the <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it was right, <laughs> yeah, but I'm just I'm just putting it out there. The, you know? the quote the quote goes yeah. as such. Um if I want to at, if <laughs> if I want to catch fish, do I ask the fish or the fisherman? Oh, that's right. Oh, that's the question. Oh, bring it in, baby girl. That's not even about guys picking up girls. That's also about girls picking up guys. Right. Why would you ask guys when you can ask a girl? Oh, this guy's throwing bombs now. I don't even know what that is. That's some kind of Chicago. That's stuff? Asian wisdom, bro. Right, this bro. is Asian wisdom all, striking hard. The jazz hand fingers. I, I do all, baby. Like you know, like. Yeah. You play guitar, you know? U- ukulele. I'm ukulele. Right, but ukulele. 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 So you don't picking. so you don't ask girls. So okay, so what what do you do? So let's you can say ask, you can ask a girl for her singular point of view, but for overall success with girls, you don't want to ask any single Correct. girl. Correct. I agree. That is that's what I'm trying to say. For any single girl, you need to respect what she independently desires because she she does know what she wants and doesn't want more than in general, what girls will like, like biologically and and guys too. Right. Is so, that where you got it from? Biologically. No, I, I got mean, it from like, like from no, me. nothing, he picked nothing it up can from change me. like okay. fucking two hundred forty million years of evolution, right? Like, there's just some shit we can't change. Right. But if a bear jumped on you, you would be frightened. Mm-hmm. If you if an earthquake started automatically, you would be shook. Uh-huh. Right. Come on. Uh huh. And if you approached a girl without giving a fuck, she would be infatuated. Wow, dude. Those are probably three sentences that... The best sentences that came out of your mouth, bro. Wow. <laughs> and it rhymed. There's a whiteboard right there. <laughs> this is like the second coming of Christ. <laughs> he has a beard in everything. Brown Christ. I mean, it, some of these things can be really that simple, you know, and I feel like people, we just go on mm. and we overcomplicate it. So where does a developer start? Does he start in the Instagram DMs? 
<laughs> is that is no. that where a developer starts? I, I think you start with a Python script to automate Tinder swiping. Face detection. Of course, we drop if it. eyes Asian enough. <laughs> so if, right. if eyes Else. Asian enough, age over eighteen, <laughs> under thirty-five. Yeah. Mouse click, drag left. Mouse click, <laughs> drag right. <laughs> under or equal thirty-five. Yeah. If width to height ratio of, of eyes. Yeah, if name <laughs> equal equal main threshold. hold. <laughs> name equal equal main Can you hold. Make a oh dictionary? my goodness. <laughs> you, make a, you make a dictionary of the like inches, their waist to you know, height ratio. Loop through it. Busty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Loop through it. <laughs> oh boy. She should look like a squiggly bracket. Oh God. <laughs> Did you notice I said dictionary? Because Python, you know. Come on! Come on. You know my audience, oh, man. game. Come on, baby. You know my audience. Shit. Dictionary. Do I? The only, things bra- the only thing braces are useful for are dictionaries. That's correct. Yeah, so, okay, so I start off, so let's say I start off, okay, maybe a script. That's funny. But I'm I am a developer, and this is a real problem. What do I do? Like, like really? Do I start off with DMs? Maybe that's the easiest way, right? I Start off like messaging, like a maybe a colleague who I was like too scared to do anything with, and I, I I'm I'm thinking I might actually start off by because right now a lot of people don't have that courage. So like, what if they just started off by reaching out to one of their colleagues or a friend in school that they see in college or whatever? Because a lot of them are 18 to 24, and they could just start off by going like, "Hey, do you want to grab a, grab a coffee this week, Wednesday at 7 p.m. at Starbucks?" Mm-hmm. Could that be a possible start? Yeah, even just asking the question is a step in the right direction. That's a brilliant text, by the way. Mm-hmm. It's brilliant. Yeah. You should use it. And then you can thank me once it works. Like, if you just sent it right now, like, let's say, like, let's say a thousand people watch this. How many will take actual action? Probably five, right? That's being very, very generous. Very generous. Very generous. But five. Out of one of them, I promise you, out of those five, one will get a response before this video actually ends. So if you pause right now... 20% send, conversion rate, baby. Set a, that's a 20% conversion rate. That's how good this text is. I promise if... What was that text? A lot mean? of you... The Re- text, rewind it. Rewind it. The, the text... <laughs> but the text is literally, literally this. It's very simple, okay? Reach out to like your colleagues or your friends, any girl that you like, Enjoy right? the company of. You enjoy Not the company even has to be of. Romantically, it's just right. Like, you enjoy the company and you want to meet. And this could actually work with clients as well. Like this is phenomenal. It works with girls and clients or potential clients. But reach out and just say, hey, um, do you do you want to hang out this week, Wednesday at seven p.m. and grab some coffee? Yeah. Sit down at Starbucks for like ten minutes, five minutes. Something that is like very limited in scope. And you're meeting in a public place, and it's calm, and it's cool, and it's chill, and that can just be your, like, you know, in on like getting more comfortable with this. It's so funny. I can already imagine so many people just contemplating being, this. Being uh, no, I'm not, not even that. Not even there yet. Being so uncomfortable. Right. Just even hearing, hearing this. this. I know. Even yeah. hearing it because I, they're I, like, I, do, do, why the girl? A text like that. Yeah. It's. I know. It's, it's, it doesn't sound like a you know pickup line. You know, it's, right. It's a shit pickup line. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. what pickup line should I have? Yeah. Mm. Or it might even make them Tennessee. Cringe. What's, what's ultimate, that Tennessee? The you know the Tennessee, line. the ten I C. What what is that That's pickup only, line, bro? The ten. Uh, are you from Tennessee? Because yeah, you're that, the only ten I C. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use that. My name is Raj, but you can call me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that works for a lot of my fans in India. Let's go, baby. And your gang. Here to pick up some beautiful women. So I think really, like, maybe start off with something simple like yes. that, you know, like text. Yes. And that's pretty simple. But I know, like, a lot of people watching this would just be cringing right now because they're like, man, this just sounds like they honestly, I don't even think a lot of people think that this would ever work. That's what I'm saying. They're, they, 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 they're uncomfortable hearing it, like doing it and actually thinking like it, it's gonna work. No, <laughs> nowhere close. But, but here's here's what I think they should do. Okay, simple. It's very simple. Yeah, let's um, start with simple. It's not about just. And there is a thing about you know learning the skill to be better with girls, but 
it's just being a better human, dude. Right. Yeah. You you work on your finances, you work on your inner self, confidence, like doing good shit. You're gonna be good with girls. Because here's the thing, right? You might be even bad with girls, but because you you're a person who's like you know, who's always striving to do good. Right. Ultimately, you're going to find a way. Like, you know, when we were when we were back in like high school or whatever, we, we sucked with girls. <laughs> we were terrible with girls. But we we're, we're not like we didn't go, "Oh, you know what? I'm so bad with girls. You know, girls never pay attention to me." And then like stayed there. No, we just kept going at it and uh, we found out simple pickup. And we're like, yep. what? It's that easy? You literally go in front of the girl and take off your pants? <laughs> and that's how you open? Uh -huh. Wow. That's a great opener, yeah, because by the way. I can do it. that. That's a great... I can do that. That's actually, like, seriously, like, real talk. That's actually really good. And after that, really <sighs> we're like, all right. Fuck is... yeah, bro. Get rowdy in this bitch. And after in that, bitch. we're like, nah, this is... This is not enough. This is still not enough. No, no, no. Like RSD. That's right. That's where the real stuff's at. And we kept getting better at it because we were willing to, you know, take action. And yeah. that's that's only because we're always striving to be better. Right. Right? Always striving to be it doesn't matter what it is, like girls, chess, career, coding, chess, coding, guitar, music, ping pong, whatever it is. Business. We, exactly. Podcast. <laughs> Videos. Being cool. How to how to be cool. Dot com. Next course, bro. Next Ooh, course. Does that website exist? I'm gonna launch it. I'm gonna launch it. How to be cool. Dot com. Launch a course on it. That's right. Yeah. You it's this a lot. <laughs> look, the same skills that aren't like that are stopping you from being able to date the girl of your dreams are probably the same skills that are stopping you from getting a client, are probably the same skills that are stopping you from getting a business, are probably the same skills that are stopping you from reaching out to what's dev and never getting a reply. Or somebody else, right? Like, those skills take time, you know? Like, I don't know what will have a better ROI on your life. Like if you're having problems with girls, I don't know what will have a better ROI. Like actually trying to meet more girls or maybe read Rich Dad Poor Dad. The subtle art of not giving a fuck. You know, you Mark read. Manson. That's what you have to read. Yeah. That's actually a must read. Yeah. If you want to be better with relationships, you have to read that. Not a dating book. Read that. And then you can go to it. And then, you, yeah, you can dive down deeper. That's a good starting. That's actually one of the first books I started. That's I that's read. what I recommend yeah. everybody. They're like, Tanya, yeah. what book should I read? I'm like, the set of water. Like, yeah, it puts you on the right path. It like opens up some doors. And it's not know? just one of those books that are like, you want to say something? Yeah. Okay, He's just hold on. I already know what you want to say. <laughs> but um, I love that book because it's not just one of those, you know, like. Thank you, bro. I need that. Book. Written in like 1973, like that's still friends like friends really people. good advice there, but guy, it's not relatable. I saw that right? guy at ConvertKit. I but, saw him talk. Yeah, you, you said that. But this book is like hip and hip as well. Like the narrator. Yeah, yeah, yeah Mark cool. Manson. He's cool. No, no, no. The, the audiobook. The, that's, yes, the audiobook. Oh. Is it not narrated by the author? No, it's not. No. You have to listen to it's it. It's listen. You have to. Yeah, I listened to it. it. I just don't remember who narrated it. I, it was, I was don't remember ago. his name, but mm -hmm. he was so good. He was so good. Right. <laughs> so good. Yeah, the narrator. Pull it up on my audible right now. It you is, might want to punch in on this, so Frankie, once I pull it up. I mean, you guys have probably heard of it, but... Yeah. It is uh, narrated by Roger Wayne. Yes, it's this Roger book. Wayne. Can you zoom in on right. that, Frankie? I don't think you can zoom in that. that by big. Mark Manson. Read by Roger Wayne. Put the Roger hole. Wayne. No? That's the book. Okay. Chapter one. Don't try. Charles Bukowski oh, was an alcoholic, Bukowski. womanizer, a chronic gambler. When that's the first word of a book, you know you're going to learn something. <laughs> Charles Bukowski. 
Yeah. Uh, he wants to say something. Well, let, let's hear it. Let's mm. hear it. Yeah. Tell, tell him. Tell the people. Okay, here's what it is, right? I yeah. think everybody has their flavors of the book that they like. Uh -huh. I fucking hate this book. Okay. Personally. But I think that... No, no, no. Ver like, verbalize it. You know, like, what? why do you hate this book? Okay, okay. So I don't like this book because... For me, it's a little too mopey and like, it's like written by a person who was like really depressed and, and I just, you'd be surprised dude. when I start listening to it, I start really like going down, you know, cause I tell you always like, I'm like, I got enough dark in me. I need to read like, like the same reason why you like 48 laws of power and there's nothing wrong with it. I fucking read two chapters and I'm like, man, I got to stop reading this shit. And I went to 10 X, like I started re like reading 10 X again. I get the same vibe from this book and my heart just starts to go in this like weird dark place and um, I get the whole Buddhist philosophy behind things and I really appreciate it but personally for me it doesn't get me going you know gotcha, gotcha. and I really listened to it I gave it a shot but for me um, the ones that work like magic almost every time um, is like 10x like gotcha. it works like magic every time really helps and then it's a great book as well yeah. yeah, 10x is like a great book to like hype you up. You need you need a yeah. you need a uh, dose of testosterone. But that there book, you, you know, it, it <laughs> the crazy thing is like it hypes me up, but it's one of the books that gets me to take the most massive amounts of action right. I've taken in right, my whole life. Right, because you personally, you're it's like a you're, dose of yeah. you know yeah. fucking yeah. testosterone. Like yeah. you're just in like word form. let's go, let's go. Yeah, like a, a lot of my courses that I actually made back in 2016. Like in October of 2016, I made 33 videos in October. Produced 33 videos. That was my highest producing month. Okay, I wish I produced at that level forever, but that was when I was reading 10x. Then you'd be called Gary V, dude. That's, That's right. There can only be one Gary. I'm v. getting close to it, you know. Like, and some people in the influencer communities are like making fun of me. They're like, this guy's like Gary V. He was like another, and then the, that guy's another comments got 16 likes on Instagram. So there's 16. So, so like, so like he was dissing me, but I was actually that was like the biggest compliment. And like 16 people agreed. I'm like, holy shit! I'm like Gary V talks to me one time, and now being compared with him, man, I'm flattered. You know? Yeah, Belarus and Pakistan are close enough. <laughs> <laughs> they both got the hair on the chin. It's funny. I used to. Where is Belarus, dude? It's Right next, next to Russia, to Germany and Ukraine. Mm, oh, I don't actually Ukraine. Ukraine. Okay, okay. I know yeah. Guys, can Ukraine. we talk about Chernobyl? Let's That's switch it up. Bel yeah, Let's dude. Talk about Chernobyl. Oh my well, God! I've not seen the, the fifth episode. Oh, don't finish so it without good. us. Don't ruin so it because. Oh, did you see the part where? Don't, don't ruin it for the podcast people either. But no, like, no, 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 no. but how how was Chernobyl, guys? How'd you? Whoa! Almost died there, buddy. You go first. Did you, oh, before before you say anything, did you guys watch it because of my recommendation? Uh, I you you and so my much. brother. Earth, Who said it first? You said it first, I think. Yeah, I'll take the question. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. My, br I think my it's brother. It's as if it's such a crazy thing. My brother. He seeded it. He seeded it. My brother said it first. Then I came to Chicago. They just like flipped no, no, the no. script on me. No, no, I'm, I'm, here's what happened. Okay. My brother said it before I came to Chicago. Then you told me, and I really took your recommendation to heart. Okay. Like, you're actually, because I was there physically and you kept fucking hammering, yeah. it actually had a lot of impact on me. Probably more than, because my brother spent like one second telling me. Right. Then I came back to United States, I mean, L.A. Uh, <laughs> I came back to L.A. From and Argentina. Then, and then so, Argentina. Argentina. And, and then I survived, uh, no, from Chicago. But I, then I survived the 7.1 earthquake with this guy. And Frankie. And Frankie. We were all here together. This light was shaking. Right. Let's put the clip from my phone. I have the clip from my phone. This earthquake is literally crazy. Yeah, bro, but this shit can fucking... Oh. What is this? That's what it sounded like. All right, all right. And then... Uh, basically what happened was um, after the earthquake I was like dude we were frightened we we're like the best time to watch Chernobyl is like now so we started watching Chernobyl frightened it got like 9 point vulnerable 7 or something Insane. on IMDB I would say this like ranks above 
Game of Thrones for me. I've never seen Game of Thrones, so I can't say. Yeah. Damn. Dang. That's crazy, boy. Yeah. Especially after the season eight. One hundred ten percent. Bro, all the audience members were. Yeah, season eight sucked. Oh, did it suck? I can just imagine that. I, I won't say anything, bro. It's just my personal opinion. You might, you might, you might like it. You never know. You know, that guy's accent in uh, which, which Chernobyl. Yeah. The old guy with the big glasses. Yeah. I fucking love his accent, dude. That, that, like that. his voice and the way he speaks and everything like his yes. inflection and everything yes. yeah there's an intonation and like a rasp to his voice that like there's like a right. radioactive yeah yeah exactly yeah yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, yeah I can't even point but there's a little graphite hint of it. yeah yeah graphite there was graphite on the floor there was graphite on the floor yes I don't know how to speak like him he's really tough uh, who are the other guys in that show oh the old guy He's badass too. The old guy. The the comrade. You know who is the who is the Com- badass? Comrade. comrade. Here's who's the, the thing badass. That you have okay. to talk to you about. The naked no. miner. Yes, the ah, naked yeah, miner. The, the fucking leader. Oh, oh my god. My god. So he's walking up with his he dick had, there. Okay, so what? Uh, he had so like his balls are so massive he had to walk like this. He's like so what? <laughs> his legs have to get out of the way. And then when he head walks head. away from them, he just butt naked. He's like, yeah. He's like, yeah, he's just getting back to business. Like, does he give all the he has to do. The Naked Miner, our favorite part of the show. Is that a... St- dude, should we call this podcast The Naked Miner? Just do it, dude. Just like, do it. No, one of those. Episode, the welcome episode, to The Naked the Miner. <laughs> naked, naked Miners and um, Virgin Developers. Something like that. Or maybe NLP, Naked Lovely Programmers. That was random, but sure. Neuro Linguistic Programming. Exactly. Play off that Neuro Linguistic. Exactly. Neuro Linguistic Programming. Dude, that minor. Is it Neuro like, or Neuro? Neuro, I think. N E U R O. Do you know another part that I liked a lot was he's like, he's like, the, the guy comes in the suit and he goes, You gotta go? And he's like, Where? Why? And then that guy's like, well, you know, you have to go. It's the orders. He's like, nobody's going anywhere. And then the police officer with a gun is like, you can't talk to us. He's like, like, (laughs) he's like, shut the fuck up. He's like, you're going to have to shoot. He's like, you're going to have to shoot us all. And he's like, you're going to run out of bullets. And then when we're left, we're going to beat the piss out of you. And then the guy in the suit freaks out. Oh, that scene was good. And then every one of them that's leaving starts to go like this with their dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, yeah, (laughs) they're like. Now you look like the Minister of Coal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my okay, god. Okay, 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 okay. We're getting into too many spoilers. We're going to put a timestamp <laughs> and then we're going to say skip to this point. That's not a spoiler. You know, it's just like a scene. I don't know. Some people might be upset. I would have been upset by that. Those that's are not like a little tang moments. That's so. not like. So put I the mean, people are different. No, put I, the courtesy in you. Put the courtesy in you. That's not like, like Game of Thrones. Like, Felicity stuff. is the mother skip of. Skip to the timestamp because, like, we've literally been talking, touching, talking about nothing but uh, Chernobyl. They shouldn't be watching shows anymore. They need to freelance. Yeah, unless they have an earthquake, then they can watch it. Yeah. yeah. That's why we watched it. <laughs> that was great. You know, bro, Stranger Things new season is out. The dark new season is it. out. I already seen it. Both? Yeah. Which one was better? Don't tell me a lot more. I'm kidding. I didn't see dark yet, but Stranger Things was good. Bro, I looked up dark and my brother went crazy. My, my brother said dark destroys. Season two is way better. I heard it's way better. You didn't watch season two, right? I didn't, but yeah. I heard it my was My brother way says it's way better. Yeah. <laughs> see? I knew, I knew, my brother, I knew what he was gonna say. My bro- I read your mind, dude. And I, every episode is like nine point three, nine point seven, nine point five on IMDb. I'm like, oh, I can't wait. I wanted to watch Dark it is so like badly, things, but darker. I and want- and my brother said season two of Dark feels like the extension of Chernobyl. It literally feels like it's a sequel to Chernobyl. Oh shit! Is because that, because it's premise? because it what starts it off from Chernobyl and they show they're like when Chernobyl happened. This is what I'm saying. The, you, didn't you buy a book about dude, Chernobyl? Dude, hold on, watched? hold on, hold on. I, I, I have. They said the time got warped in... in uh, don't, 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 don't no, say anything. It's not, anything, it's anything. Not He's already sold. He's already but I'm sold. saying it's from, Chern- it's from Chernobyl. Like, whatever is happening, is the, one of the causes is Chernobyl. Mm. This is from season one of Dark, bro. This is not even anything okay, new. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Isn't that crazy? Gotcha. I mean, I know y'all want me to stop talking That's about that. That's where stop. Chernobyl it's... was, like that... Yeah, nuclear- when they're showing it, it literally starts. My brother said it literally starts from 1986. Wow. Like right when Chernobyl happened, it starts from there. So my brother is like, it literally felt like it's true. 1986, 
33 years, 2019, 1953. And then if you watch Chernobyl, oh, you know the history. Oh, 33 years. I know all the details. And they say the that in, in Dark, they say that the it's a wormhole creates a multi-dimension. Yeah. And so not only does the past impact the future, the future but the impacts future the impacts the past and the present. Yeah. I was like... Yo! Wait, you didn't see season one? I have. Okay, okay. But isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. I gotta watch season two. I wanted to watch season two so badly, okay? I started. There were so many things that I forgot. I was like, I, I can't do this without watching like season a recap one. or at least like skimming through season one. So many things. Like season one, even after watching it completely, I had so many questions. Really? I had so many questions. You didn't have any questions? About season one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, millions of them. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I've never heard of this show. The what? Dark. It's hard to hear. It's hard to hear about it. it I told you about it a long time ago when I discovered it. I told my brother about it, too. No, you didn't. No, you, it was like I remember exactly. You told me, but I had watched it three weeks before. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. So, I told my brother about that shit because that shit was crazy. And this thing, Man, here's here's the right way to watch it for everyone who wants to watch it. There's only one right way to watch it. If you fuck this up, the whole show is gonna be ruined. It's gonna go from a 9.5 to like a 2.2. Watch it in German dubs. Audio should be German because that's the show. It's German. Subtitled English. This is the only way to watch it. If you watch it in English, it literally is like oh. Whoever wa- watches it in. Don't watch the it dub, dubs. other than the native language of that show, it's, it's so weak. it just takes away from the that power. power, the power. rawness, the re- yeah, the re- that, it just it just takes away from so many things. I can't like same thing with anime. Like, like the I don't, Indian, I don't get how people you know, watch in, in, Japanese anime in English. You know they come in, they're like, oh my god, <laughs> yeah, 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 what? Yeah, Sentai. they're like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, um, it, it's it's almost like that scene where it's like get no admite. You can translate that to how many yeah. men were there. Like yeah. that doesn't have the same thing. How many men were there? I mean, that's still pretty cool, yeah. but like most Not usually it doesn't translate. Cool. Yeah, sure. it's like that has power to it. That was an Urdu Hindi thing. Yeah, you're not that Asian, dude. I'm I'm Asian in so many levels. You have no idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Can you Asian with Chinese? five languages. No. Okay, the so. English is not. Four languages, I guess. Yeah. You can speak four languages. Five languages. Well, Hindi and Urdu, same thing. Come on, hey, man. I'll take the credit. Come on, man. <laughs> I'll take the one up, you know? This guy I'm speaks impressed. Hindi and Urdu. Really? Yeah, I can read too. This guy can't. Can, you can't did, read, where, did read you learn it from him? I can read you Urdu can... and I can read Arabic, son. And I can recite Arabic. But you can't read Hindi. Okay, you're not Hindu, so. I got you. You're not Indian. I got you. I got you. I got you. That makes sense. You're, I can't blame you for that. I can write an improper grammar. What can you do? But yeah, most people, most Indian people can't like read Hindi at all. Like, or, or Urdu. Right. Paki people, they can't read Urdu. Like, they, they can just understand it a little bit. Right. Hmm. I mean, I can't. And then I tell, it. and I'm, I'm reading the lyrics because we went uh, like a few weeks ago, we went but... somewhere, and then uh, on our way back from the lift, you know, it was a long drive. And they just put on some Bollywood shit, and I'm like, I would just read the lyrics off of like some lyric website, but in English. And, in no, English. in Urdu, like Urdu or Hindi. And I was reading Hindi, of course. And I was reading you can it, read and it. then oh, I can you, write too. You can read Sanskrit because you you right. trained in that shit. Yeah, I can write too. What do you want me to write? What's going on, bro? There you go. Write breh. What's going on, breh? I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding about that. Just say what's going on, Aaron. Or yeah. what's going on? Write my homie. name in Hindi. Just say what's <laughs> going on, man. Like something like that. Yeah, it's uh, it's like if you dude, okay, look literally, up. it's like yeah, yeah, hold Okay, just say it. Like know? look under the staircase. That sounds. That's uh. <laughs> Is that a Harry Potter? Dude, <laughs> we have all the weirdest shit. What uh, what does it even mean? Just, I don't. It doesn't staircase. mean anything, bro. It's just provocative. Mm. Gets the people going. Oh my god, that's from a song, right? Ball so hard, motherfuckers wanna find me. First day gotta find me. What's fifty uh, grand to a motherfucker like me? Can you please remind me? Ball so hard, that shit cray. That shit cray. Con all day, man. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dude, that shit went viral. <laughs> <laughs> Be, be that, drops. that should be the intro. Dude, song, that man. that For went viral. Like, I don't know if you know that, but like, look at this shit. Multiple developers did this. 
This they literally sent me this video back. Oh shit. That's insane. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? That is literally nuts. coding all day. Cunt. Way to that lot. And then this is another developer. Holy shit. Coding all day, man. <laughs> this guy's going crazy coding. With one hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like. What is he doing with his left hand? <laughs> command space? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> yeah. Coding all day. Get ahead, get commit. <laughs> get ahead. Get toggle. The only to things you toggle need to a sidebar. Literally, the get only reset. things you need to know about Git is Git add, Git commit dash m followed by a message, and Git push origin master, and Git pull origin master. Like you maybe, know those four clone, commands. Like initially, Git clone maybe. And uh, usually, I, I do Git init, you know, to start off with. But oh, like yeah. you have those, you don't need any more Git than that. Like very few things, like Git Git reset hard head. Or head hard. That one is one of the most important ones that like most people don't know. But that one is usually needed to like go uh, commit back, and uh, other stuff than that is fancy. Yeah, just but like, like, like get status is just like, but like, get like diff, just like little get status stuff. is really important. Yeah, get status is pretty cool. Yeah, but like <sighs> get diff. Get we just stash. keep adding one thing. <laughs> we just keep adding like it's always like that with get. It's like hey, you, you only need three, and then you're like, like well, that is pretty useful. About Five, yeah, like, six are pretty useful. Yeah. Those will get you like ninety-eight percent of the way there, and then yeah. other two percent is like extra stuff. You or, know, or the get get get. get but get, get is not GitHub. Can can we clarify that? Make people understand that Git is not GitHub. You you go ahead, bro. Kill you. Knock it. Knock it. Yeah. Knock it out yourself, dude. I I have explained this so many times. I I don't want to explain it. Yeah, it's too much. It's but Git is not GitHub. Let's just leave it at that. Git is, is not GitHub. It's like saying, what is it like saying? That's, what, a, that's a pretty hard <laughs> Django is comparison to Django come up with. Django is not Python, but no, Python is not Django, but Django is Python. How about this? Like, exactly. Git? It's like a subset. Some, one uses the other. How about this? Like, Git is like a time machine, and GitHub is just like a drop time machine off. in the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> and, and GitHub, right. GitHub is like Dropbox for code exactly. in like simple terms. Exactly. GitHub is just where you put the code. It's just where you store the code. It's like Google Drive for code. Yeah. All right. Uh, Git is like a time machine. It allows you to go back and forward. If you fuck up, you, it's like a memory card when you used to play video games when you were a kid. You had a memory card. You know, you you fucked up. You died. You restarted from somewhere. That's Git. That's all it is. I always thought GitHub was just like a web browser GUI version of Git. So like, that's not just, what it is. See, that's, that's not, the thing. That's not what it is. That's not what it is. That's the that's, thing. That's what I've always understood. It no, as. but like you know how in Google Drive, right? You can go in there, and it also has the ability to like, if you're in an Excel sheet in Google Drive in Google Sheets, you know, you can go back in time. Mm -hmm. Do you know that? Yeah, right. Just because it allows that functionality doesn't mean Google Drive is Git. See what I'm saying? It just allows you the functionality to like go back in time and shit. I think he's more confused now. I know, I know. I can see by his face. Whatever, man. You get upload your code. Get you just Git is click, not GitHub. All right. Bottom line button, is Git is not GitHub. Button. That's it. GitHub is like Google Drive for code. That's it. That's it. Git is a time machine. <laughs> man, I, you know, it took me a long time to come up with that analogy. It was a lot of hard work. That's why I keep saying it over and over again. It's a time machine. I mean, it's yeah, that machine. makes sense too really is a time machine right so that's about it that's about it yeah that's a doozy i'll never understand all right any last words hey how long are we at we're sitting at an go hour. out more an hour? go out more be a better human being that's okay? right and uh that's it yeah. that's pretty Thanks good really it's it. pretty like, good if you just go out more like n not do crazy things. you don't you don't even have to go you know rsd symbol pick up anything like that like you, you don't, don't have, have to you don't even have to read a dating book or whatever okay just like pursue your goals don't give up and uh read books that's it that's great that's it that's great well, wow. any last like, words from you? Like work on your foundations, you know? Work on your yeah. foundations, everything will come to you. Yeah. All right, last if words you, from Aaron. Well, yeah, similar idea, but like if, if you're not, in, the one that I, that I really like that stuck with me was if you're not embarrassed by who you were six months ago, you're not changing. Anything. Yesterday, bro. Six months is way too long. Well, I mean, six months is like a good I chunk know, for I like. I'm just right, let, him, let him finish this. I know, I know, I know. 
All right, go ahead. Six months. No, that's that's literally it. Yeah, like so. If like you're not, what a, you're doing now was a result of what you're doing six months ago. That's so pretty powerful. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's enough time to be embarrassed by your previous self. You know, like it's like. Yeah, and then you're not ashamed to admit it. Like in the moment, of course, you're not gonna be like, oh, "I'm a right. fucking loser right now. I'm not gonna dive into everything." But right. you'd be like, "Yeah, six months ago, I had these problems. What the fix?" Right. So. Yeah, man, that's insane. It's a lifestyle. It's not a fucking diet. So. Really. You have to commit to it. Yep. And uh, on my end, I will literally say that if you either want to get more clients or more better dating life, um, honestly, just go out more even if even if it even if you're not going out there with the intention of going to like pick up girls or whatever like literally just on the weekends go out with your friends and just have a good time like learn how to enjoy socializing go to meetups and enjoy talking meetup.com meetup.com don't just go there to network don't stay in your basement or in like this little room forever for as many hours as possible and then the only time you need job you go out to networking and then you hate it and everybody can see from your face that you hate it and then you go around handing out business cards desperate to land a job because now you're in debt you got out of college you don't have any money and you need to get this job everybody can read that from your face but instead if you love the process you develop this habit of going out consistently you enjoy socializing with people not only will all your Girl problems will get solved, but you will build enough relationships to actually be landing jobs as a developer. That's how he got a job as a developer. That's how I got all my clients. It was through relationships. That's how Aaron was able to connect and work with Clever Programmer mm-hmm. and do everything that he does. It was yeah. through relationships. They're super, yes. super powerful. Two, two Facebook people we met today at VidCon. Uh, one, Two Facebook engineers. One yeah. working there for eight years, one for five years. Wow. One, the one the, for eight years, he went to Berkeley and he couldn't find a job after applying to 100, but one simple connection got him into Facebook. Hey, listen, Berkeley listen, grad. this is so painful. Listen, listen. Berkeley grad. Yes, please he emphasize it. applied to 100 jobs. That's right. Got and one kept response. going, and kept going. Yep. Yep. Most people apply to Soft two jobs. Skills. They're like, I can't get jobs. Yeah. Attention. I can't me get person, jobs. Me oh personally, God, I would not be on this channel. Yeah, they just cry, man. Everybody just cries too much. They're just too much. But go ahead. Yeah, I, I had the same exact issue. I am um, currently a graduate student at Georgia Tech right now, and I applied to 50 jobs, and I got three responses. One was in Compton, and two I was uninterested in. And that's when I reached out to Kazi, and then I ended up here. From Instagram, From dude. the connection. From this the connection guy reached out him. to me about... 84 weeks ago on Instagram, then reached out to me again like about 40 weeks ago, yeah, 50 Because I met ago. him face to face one time and that was that held more weight than being at one of the top schools for computer science and applying to 50 jobs in a, a city as big as LA, which I thought was abundant with opportunity, but yep. a little bit harder. I mean, my resume might have been different. Okay. But the, how do you feel? At, how, how long have you been working here? It's five months, six months? Just over five months. How long do you feel? Uh, I mean, um, not how long do you feel? How do you feel? How do I feel now? Well, yeah. Amazing. Working here for six months. What do you think about the decision you made working here for six months? Do you think... The best decision I made since my move. The breakup, the move... Kazi, clever programmer. <laughs> .com. Yeah. Turned into my testimonial. That's right. I mean, arguably, I could have gotten similar experiences from other. Okay, <laughs> right, but, right, but <laughs> there is the Kazi's truth. Not bad. Not bad. That's the truth, guys. Kazi. I think that whether you went here or you went somewhere else, you would get like real world experience. Yeah, right? I would. Have, I would be working on a different. Skill you get set real right world now. experience when you do real world things. Mm-hmm. So, two. I, I want to emphasize two takeaways from these two people. So. The big takeaway from Tenzin was like apply. That guy applied to a hundred jobs to Facebook engineer and never gave up. That's very powerful. Most people start bitching and moaning way before that. Grad. The important takeaway that Aaron was trying to convey was that that guy was a Berkeley grad and from a hundred applications, he got zero jobs. The only place he got the job from was from a relationship. And that got him into Facebook. Not that got random, him into Facebook. Not some random company. Facebook. Who's hiking, by the way? The guy 
was hiking when he met the Facebook connection. He was wow. He I, was I hiking when so. he got the Facebook yeah. connection. Frankie was there with him. He was today. outdoors, not in his fucking basement. Mm-hmm. That is insane. Yeah. <gasps> that video like was even actually today, dropping. even today, so good to let it out in the in the lift. Okay, while I was on the lift, if I was like, if it was like ten years ago, I would not talk to that Uber guy. Yeah, that lift guy at all. Like I'd just be like, hey, what's up, man? And I would just be on my phone or doing something something else. Now, every time I take Lyft, I make it a fucking mission to talk to the guy mm-hmm. and find out more about him. Mm-hmm. And that's how I knew he was a trader. Mm-hmm. And he has YouTube channels. I, at first, I, when he said, I'm actually pretty good at it. You know? And I knew he was good because he said it in a very humble way. Not like the fake humble, like real humble. humble and he's humble. like, I have it. Like my because so many humble? people. <laughs> dude, you're, you're a humble guy, dude. What are you talking about? The wrapped, there's wrapped a, in arrogance, but he's like, <laughs> it's on my YouTube channel. <laughs> All right. Did you just hear, hear what I said? Yeah, it's on my YouTube. Oh, Jesus Christ, so calm. I'm like, I would freak the bro, fuck what'd out. What did you say? Yeah, I was like, you, YouTube? YouTube? You, did you say YouTube? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then started spelling yeah, it out. I don't know why. And then I just so whip out my phone. Y O U T U B E. G H T I T C H or something like that. Jesus. Can we pull it up? I forgot, no, 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 but no, no, I can no, I can, can probably go into history, no, but it's fine, gonna take too fine. long. That's fine. I pulled it up, yeah. dude. I kid you not. We, I can, I'll show you later. Cool. Seventeen hundred dollars in six minutes. It, 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 the title was "Watch Me Make a Quick Seventeen Hundred Dollars in Six Minutes," it, and it's live trading. It's not like fake shit, fake screenshots or whatever. It's live trading, and not just one video. Like all his videos were like, "Watch me flip a thirty-six hundred dollars in seventeen minutes." And then when he in the beginning I didn't believe anything he said. After I saw all of those, I believed him. I'm like, and then he, when he said, "Yeah, I just drive live for fun, man." Yeah, I'm like, wow, wow. Drive live. He's driving live from a position of fucking power. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. <laughs> oh. And that's what I wrote about in the airplane. Because the experience was so different oh, and Chicago. crazy. That exactly. When I was on that, uh, in my flight, during my flight, um, all the windows were down, curtains were down. What do you call them? Windows? The, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, whatever, yeah. Plastic dude. shades. Yeah, shades yeah, or whatever. Things. Shutters. I just went, dude. I never wrote in, I never wrote in flight. This Plane is the first is time I wrote. Hell yeah, bro. Plane is, and it's, the productivity is crazy, yes, right? Because there's yes. no internet. Yes. And no, there's have, no form I, of communication. I but that internet. internet sucks. No, no, I, I pay. I pay too. But that internet, besides like maybe texting, I don't know about you, but I can't watch YouTube or anything. Really? I'm, maybe it depends on the you airline. You tried? On the airplane. Yeah. You could do YouTube? Yeah. You, you sure? 1080p. Dude, every internet that I've ever paid for, $8, $15, $20, it's Mine, funny. Mine was 16 Yeah, even that much. Like I never really? got, yeah. But okay, that's cool. cool. I was awesome. I, like, I was playing chess. I was playing. You know, you, Lee Chess needs a lot of bandwidth or something like that. Dude, that it, is it, absurd. It needs high, high, high speed internet for that. That's absurd. Um, and I was playing pretty, you know, without lag or latency or anything like that. It's brilliant. So Satellites, you. Good, That's you know. brilliant. But maybe I just got lucky. You know, so we were on. just flying over a specific Correct. part where the internet so, was so, lit. <laughs> so talk to me. So you wrote. Yeah, I just wrote about it. Yeah, because. Mm. Um, for yourself, or do you post it somewhere? No, just journaling. Mm. I have like on Ulysses, I have like ideas. Right. So um, we whatever, and then publish or something. But I just put everything right. in ideas. But the main thing is that you actually started speaking with this exactly. guy who you would never thought, and then you ended up building this incredible relationship, and you were like, "Holy shit!" Yeah, and we exchanged numbers too. I'm like, "Let me get your number right before we left." Right. And he was happy to give it so to me. So the Facebook then, engineer is met in hiking, and this yes. apparent brilliant guy is met in an Uber. Lift. You're good with this shit, dude. Come on. <laughs> natural. He's a natural. <laughs> podcast. <laughs> first podcast, <laughs> and he's just keeping us in check. He's like, yeah, 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 come on, dude. Come on, come on, come on. Come on dude. It, gets, it dude. gets old after five months. You know. Right, Frankie? <laughs> Fuck you, woo woo bastard. Keep, we keep each other. How to start a podcast. <laughs> this man, Frankie, and I keep each other sane. <laughs> Either of us in isolation you know, with this. You know, it's actually died. pretty cool, their relationship. They're almost like brothers. And he's the older brother. 
You know, but it's he's almost young. like his older brother. <laughs> Who's older brother? He's almost like his older brother. You know, like their their connection the now dynamic. over time, the oh, dynamic okay. after gotcha, five gotcha. months. So every time that, they're that, like working, that so that's pretty, pretty cool. Beautiful. Whenever they're working on editing a video or something, it's yeah. like both of them are working on it, going hardcore. Um, it's it's I love it. No, actually. I saw I saw them sure. setting everything up. I'm, I was like, wow. Yeah, actually, they're brilliant. It's yeah. I felt yeah. warm. I know. It's yeah. it's something you know. Some things you can't explain it. You can't. It just can be felt. You know. So I yeah. felt it. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I felt like a dad. One time I was leaving and I was like, "All right, guys, love you." And then everyone was like, "Ah, fuck you." And then I like closed the door and I was smiling. Yeah, dad. Yeah, but he was just joking. And I knew Somebody's that. gonna get hurt. And when I was leaving, I was like, "Man, I felt pretty warm." Yeah, and I actually felt. I was like, "Damn, that's actually pretty cool." Like, uh, I left the right message. Like, fuck you. Man. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, he took out his anger on me. Yeah. So, basically, whether it's the Uber fucking guy or whether it's the Lending engineer. Yeah. They're gonna be outside, man. They're not sitting in your goddamn basement. No. So get out, get out of your. No fucking matter how basement. good your resume is, one random connection while you're doing something fun is way better. Like everybody, like I got a message today. I'm just like, how much is a value? What would you value a CS degree? And I had my Instagram right here, and I was zooming into my face, and I went like this, and I was like, and the video ended, and I got like so much backlash on my Instagram, right. but I fought everybody in their fucking DMs, right. and. Basically, it's gonna give you a lot of pain to hear that, that that's worth zero, but it's actually not even worth zero. It's worth negative forty thousand dollars. <laughs> if you go to a normal, I'm actually being school, nice. But if you go to private, like you know, elite level schools, it's like three hundred thousand dollars. Neg- yeah, negative three hundred thousand dollars. Negative two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, insane. John Sonmez made three million dollars from Plural Site. I'm about to make my first fucking million. So like, it, it's you know like. This guy has made multiple six figures from fucking coding, okay? So have I from just coding and freelancing. There are so many developers. Brad Hussey, right? This guy's making half a million dollars a year. Yeah, something like that. Right? But he's, he's, he's doing a lot. He, you right. know he's on Instagram now? I'm, I know. I knew he was on Instagram. Yeah, I've been messaging him on Instagram. That's no, no, no. I met. I'm talking about ads. I don't IG know about and ads. Facebook ads. Brad Hussey. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's, he's that's on. dope that's actually dope I didn't and he know. and i saw his video pretty good pretty right. good video he's gonna make great videos i'm sure but like guys this is the world around you like we need to wake the fuck up like a harvard graduate isn't even making that much money you know nope. but like it's it's what everybody's goal is right we met a developer today and he's happy making like 1500 or 2000 dollars a month yeah. like he's way more yeah, than yeah. happy and because what did you did Facebook engineers? No, 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 not Facebook engineers. Another one, another one. Okay. But he freelances and he travels around the world with his wife, okay. and he's worked with some great companies. Apparently, we can't say the name of the company because it's NDA, whatever. Okay, <laughs> right? Sure, sure. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, right. So he's working with some great company. Um, let's just say it's a company like Docker. Okay, pretty good company, sure, yeah. Docker, um, or Heroku. Two thousand dollars a month. So he's he's freelancing. And Docker he, shit. He didn't say exactly what the number was, but the way he spoke, I gen- I got the vibe. But I don't know why the fuck everybody's trying to hide their fucking numbers. What the fuck is gonna happen if you just fucking tell other person how much money you're fucking making? What is this bullshit? I never understand it. Okay, if you're making two thousand dollars a month, somebody asks you, just tell them I'm making two thousand dollars a month. Okay, yeah. or make more money. If or the make only more person money. who hide their money is the people who are just very insecure. About who they are. They tie all their identity to the money. Those are the people. And you know that they're not making any money. Because they never want to tell you. And because of that mindset, they won't, they'll never make money. You'll never make money. Because you already have the value. You already have the mindset of hiding stuff. If you hide stuff, you'll lose. The only way you win is by providing so much value. That sometimes you screw yourself over. But in the long run, you'll win. But people, when you ask them these type of questions and they hide... You generally know why they're working at the place they're working at. But anyway, so I asked this guy multiple times, straight on, directly, camera pointing at his face. I was like, no, 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 exactly, monthly, what is your income? And he's like, well, he's like, if you're traveling in Asia and all these other countries, you'll be making about, you know, if, he's like, if you're making around $1,500 or $2,000 a month, you're going to be living a pretty great lifestyle. By which I understood it to be that he was making around fifteen hundred or two thousand dollars a month mm-hmm. and he said not only do you get to keep the maybe money maybe he just he just does it part-time it's one of those right things. he is working part-time and he said okay. you get to keep profit he said you get to even save money 
And you get to enjoy yourself. That's actually pretty smart. And you get to enjoy yourself. That's actually pretty smart. Like, I don't have any problem with uh, people who have jobs. Correct. People who go to college. I don't either. No problem whatsoever. No. If Just, you are happy yes. with your work, you're passionate about it, yeah. and uh, you have all your needs fulfilled. Yeah. And at the, at, the, at the end of the day, if you're happy, like actually happy and you Damn. feel fulfilled. Right. It doesn't matter, dude. It, you can you can have a job and that's That's, that's okay. Fine. That's totally okay. That's perfectly That's fine. correct. You can have, there's so many people in this world who have jobs right now at this very moment who are very happy yep. with their jobs and they look forward to going through their job. But here's the case, right? Here's, here's the thing. Most people don't like their jobs. Most people hate their jobs. Hate their job, exactly. They dread going, waking up at whatever time and they dread doing everything and they still stay at that job for like 15 years. Right. Now I don't that, know what the fuck. That, that is I never understand what the fuck. For a 10% raise. For a 10% raise. That's that's one that's one to retire raise one dollar a year. Like and they go crazy raise. over that. They and get just, crazy over that. It's how people go crazy over coupons. They go nuts. Yeah. Like a $5 savings from some crazy complex way. They go fucking lose their goddamn minds. And I never understand why that happens with people. But like... It breaks my heart. You know, my thing is, yes, you can be happy doing a full-time job. You can be happy going to college. It's just that if you know what you're doing and you know why you're doing it and then you're doing it anyway, that's okay. It's wearing off. <laughs> what's wearing keep off? Keep going, keep going. Oh. No, no, no keep going. Sorry, I know sorry, what's wearing off. On. Okay. So, I, so I'm, thinking, I'm thinking this, right? I'm thinking... Those are the only people that I have a. I have a. If you know what you're doing, why you're doing it, that's okay. But if you want a certain thing, then you're going to college. But that doesn't map to what you want. Right. The high income, the free lifestyle, the multiple job opportunities. It right. doesn't map to what you want. That's the only time we're saying we're just we're not even saying drop out. We're just saying just reevaluate. Reevaluate. Most people have their parents pressuring them to do something. Right. Most people have somebody, their external pressure, their friends are going to laugh at them or whatever. So if they just take the path, um, instead of taking the road less traveled, if they take the same path as everybody else, then even if they get shitted on, they're okay because at least nobody can tell them I told you so. Right, right, exactly, exactly. And here's the thing, the, the sad part Right. The, when you do something, here's the thing. Everybody has a passion. Correct. Okay. Everybody like if you were, if when I, when I was in high school, I wanted to be a musician. Yep. And I wanted to play guitar and everything. Okay. This guy plays sick ass guitar. He has a beautiful fucking voice. <laughs> he's literally a legend. Right, dude, come on, dude. And he'll never talk about because he's fucking on, Asian, just like you. And he's an incredible drummer. Thirteen goddamn years. I can't play any instruments. I suck. We know. But I can play blindfold <laughs> chess. So shut the fuck up, Aaron. <laughs> hey, I, wasn't, I, wasn't in part, I wasn't taking part in this, dude. dude. Okay. Uh, what was I talking about? Um, I said something about the, s the sad part. Sad part. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody has a passion. Yeah, I helped. When you do something that is against your true belief right. for an extended period of time. Yeah. You're, that belief slowly goes away. Huh. Damn. And you die. Damn. You die. Literally, your soul dies. And that's why people, after a certain point, they're so numb to it that they don't quit their jobs or their relationships or whatever because they're, they haven't solved it, but it's like almost solved because in the... In a negative way. Dude, you know? it's like what they say happens to elephants, right? When the elephant is exactly. a little baby. Exactly. They tie, a, they tie a rope around the elephant's foot. And then the elephant can't break away. You know about that, right? And then, so the elephant can't break away because the elephant is a baby. But then when that elephant becomes a giant, he can break the shit out of that rope. But he never even tries because he thinks he can't break away. Because he remembers when he was a baby, he couldn't break it. Isn't that funny? insane he never like, even tries his identity is right. still that one day old elephant yep and that's 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 true with people as well yep. that's very true with people um and you have to fight your demons you know if you, you don't do. fight your demons sooner or later that demon will fuck you up right and when that fucks you up 
Like you're done. Yeah. Then it's really hard to come back. Our then it's really are, hard to come back. Our demons are crazy, bro. Right. Our demons are crazy. Like this guy, he's so fucking good at so many things, right? But he's Asian, bro. But he has oh, literally, you, he literally has physically speaking, he has trouble, like verbally saying it. Or, or like for example, he's great at drumming, right? But the same reason why he doesn't have YouTube content around it because he doesn't think he's good enough. But he's a fucking beast. I bet you. And I feel like there are also people who it's, undermine, who who mentally undermine themselves. I think he's super talented, but I feel like he sometimes, like, undermines himself. Exactly, and it comes from childhood, mm. right? Because our parents, even when we got A's, A yeah, pluses, yeah, they're, both in the same. they're like, "You got only eight ninety eight. Why did you get ninety? My parents did that shit. Yeah, hundred. When you would get hundred, my dad would look at the papers, oh, and yeah. it's it's way different from here. It's way harder, like ten times harder. And you, he would look at the essay or whatever, and it's hundred percent. Everybody else, not hundred percent. He would look at it and just go, "Look at that handwriting." <laughs> <laughs> Only my mom's I, it, Asian. <laughs> it echoes in my head to this day, bro. Yeah, nothing is good enough. Look at that handwriting. That's a definition. My mom. Nothing's ever. My good mom enough. always. Even when I got third, she would just be like, wow, you got in third. You know, top three, she's okay. You know, top four, no. Four is still not good. <laughs> not enough for mom. <laughs> but top three is enough. For that, nothing was enough. So, they say, you know what they say? It's like, what did you, what, what did I do? No, I, I'm actually adding on. I'm actually Oh, okay, not. okay, okay. You were, you were looking in a very suspicious way, you know, staring at me. They said... <laughs> Excellence is accepted and greatness is tolerated. That's the framework of certain parents. That's a pretty fucked up way to raise your kids, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty fucked up. I mean, I'm glad they did so. You know, my biggest hack that I discovered, you know, like the whole low expectation shit I do, mm-hmm. and it's like my ultimate hack that just mm-hmm. gets me going in all areas of life. I figured this shit out at a young age, okay? I figured Son, you did drugs? Oh man, thank God. <laughs> yeah. I thought you killed somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, thought, I thought you killed somebody. Yeah, yeah. You got a guy pregnant. You know, the guy got a guy, guy, guy <laughs> pregnant. That's fucking hilarious. My, that's fucking funny. That's funny. I, what I started doing, I realized at a very young age, what it started happening was I got C's that cried. I got B's that cried. I got, I got all A's, one class. I got like an A minus or like a B. They're like, why'd you get a B in that class? They just ignored like the, all the A's. I'm like, this is fucked. Like, I can never win. And the only reason I got those grades was just to see their reactions. Right. So then I realized that nothing I did mattered. So then I started doing the opposite. Right. I just started getting Fs and Ds. I came home late, like in high school. I started coming home like 2, 3 a.m. late every night. My parents hated me for this period. They're like, you're, you're like coming late. Like, what the hell's wrong with you? You're not getting your grades right. But I just systematically kept like chipping away, chipping away, chipping away, chipping away. But what I was really chipping away at was their like ridiculous expectations of me and bringing them down. Bro, now... That's like a win. <laughs> bro, now it's like if I just call them and they just find out I'm alive, my dad's fucking crying of happiness. Right. It's a beautiful experience. I, at a very young age, stopped giving a fuck about their opinions of me in a very respectful way just so I could be free to do my own thing, right? right? Whereas my middle brother, I love him, but he couldn't be free of that. Maybe it's circumstance, maybe it's luck, all those things combined. I'm not gonna take that away. Sometimes you can get lucked out too. But I chipped away at it because I realized this game is just rigged. This game, you're always gonna lose with those parents. Always gonna lose. And so I gave up on it. And now my relationship with parents have never been better. Like many, many years later, right? I'm 24 now. I've been fucking chipping away at it since I was like 13. Right. You know? So it's like 11 years of like hard work. And now I go back and literally anything that I do, like they found out I have a white girlfriend and they would have flipped. They still kind of flipped. I brought it up on the phone. Did I tell you? Yeah, you did. Yeah. I have they, not heard the story. This is Continue. crazy. Continue. So my mom and my dad, they were like, where are, you, where are you? I'm like, I'm at the airport. They're like, where are you going? I'm like, Argentina. They're like, but weren't you supposed to come to Eid like, with us? And I was like, no, I'm actually going to Argentina with my girlfriend. 
my mom flipped on the phone, bro. My dad came. Both of them were like going crazy. But because I'm such to them, like I'm such a dumbass and I do so many crazy things, like jumping off the plane and shit, which in their mind is like nuts. Mm -hmm. When I went back to my mom, my mom just loved me. My dad just loved me because right. now their barrier is like, if this person is alive, we just love him. But as a result, I've been the best version of myself. I've been the most confident because I got to make my own decisions. And um, I became much more successful than if I was just like living under their roof and like doing everything that they said, you know? So like that whole low expectations thing, I do it in everything. Like, I'm like, I'm gonna do this crazy shit. And you guys are like, what's gonna be the result? I'm like, I'm gonna get two subscribers and it's gonna be fucking and unbelievable. And isn't it crazy? That shaped your identity. It did. Like it's insane, that little thing. I mean, it's not little, but right. when you don't think about it, you're just like, yeah, it's insignificant. Yeah. Right. But every day, yep, for years, yep, and yeah, I can. This guy does it with everything. He's like, mmm, let me think. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Scheme scum. <laughs> yeah, dude. I try to, I try to chip away too. I'm with you. I try to chip away, but I, I would get a roundhouse kick, you know. So right, that would, yeah. uh, I, I didn't chip away. I wasn't successful until like 17. Then I started to, it started to work because I was here and I'm like, what? There's a law? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Protecting you. Emanc it's emancipated, baby. Emancipated. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Six. And that's the thing. You know, it's like, this is where I say like luck and circumstance has to play a role. Right. So like I just got a little bit more lucky where like my dad and mom wouldn't start beating me up. I mean, I went to religious school for four years. That was like torture chamber for like four years straight, but my parents never like actually beat the fuck out of me. And so that I had the room to do that. You didn't, you didn't, right? right? Even if you had tried, your dad would like find you and kick the shit out of you. Right. So with love, of course, but you know, always, always. Yeah. I mean, we got kicked every day. It wasn't like when my dad kicked me, it's like, another day it's just another day he, lo he still loves me <laughs> yeah but yeah so that's fucked right and then it makes it really tough for you but then we have like different things that take place from there like your standard of excellence is more the the work that you put in to achieve that excellence that your inner drive actually like when you actually dedicate it to something is gonna be more than mine because your dad trained you in what some might consider a fucked up way, but I just look at it like it just is what it is. It just and, is what it is. Right. I used to look at it, look at it in a right. fucked up way too, but now it's but just his, like his because of that. His intensity is one of the strongest I know, and you also have really high intensity. That's why I always say that you remind me of my friend Tenzin. When you're actually in something, you both have a high level of intensity. He, he's you sure it's not because we're just Asians. It's probably could be that. Okay. Yeah. But I think parental resistant. pressure, ha ha yeah, like has to do something with. I could be wrong, but I feel like parental pressure has to do with the level of intensity. That's why so many Asian kids, yeah, I, like I hundred percent agree. Are, like, are just like peace. I said, like that shaped your identity, what your what Correct. your parents did yeah. with you, and then same thing with me, you know, and same. I'm sure same thing with him too. And we think, but, but I'm just, this pattern is still the same, you know, the right. why, like the why, the root cause of everything. I think. For most yeah. people, it is. Yep. Because you're a little kid. Yep. You get morphed into Man, whatever, yeah, malleable. whatever you see. Yeah. You, you see something, you're like, oh, let me let me try that. Yeah. You look at your dad, you're like, you know what? Let me try that. And for you, you're two brothers. You know, older brother. You had a balance sheet, like yeah, <laughs> trial balance. <laughs> yeah, you were you were third try. That's right. Uh, Wait, really, what's that called? I was the best, was the best mistake ever made. Balance. It's balance. like he would look at his older brother and say, like, hmm, that's pretty good, but that's not that good. Let me go to the other yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Younger brother, hmm, that, that shit's lit. Yo, let me let me try to be more hip, you know? Yeah. Oh, leather jacket. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah okay, yeah. okay, cool, cool. Yeah, but like, that part, I, I don't really oh, like. Yeah, so yeah, let, yeah. Me, let me balance that off, you yeah. know? Let, I got to be a little bit more disciplined. And then that... Perfectly balanced out, dude. That's yeah. right. That's right. And that's how he grew his beard. And then I just stole it from him. <laughs> and, then, right. and then I'm like, hmm, interesting. I like it. I like what I see. And I'm like, all right, all right, all right. I gotta, I gotta talk to this guy. Our more. our influence on each other's life is probably more influence than anybody has had on anyone ever. Ever. Right. Really? You guys met in undergrad, right? In community uh, college. 
yeah. We met in community college. It's, hearing that word is so chess. weird. Undergrad. Undergrad. Oakton. Yeah. Oakton. Because you were about to say no, 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 right? And then, yeah, yeah. And I was about I, to say no, no, no. High school. Wait, school. undergrad. Yeah. That is undergrad. Yeah, that is undergrad. That's crazy. And we met because of Oak, chess. I was at Oakton Community College with 2.0 GPA, making six. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you written that? Like a how lot. Many, how many times a have you lot, typed dude. that copy out? <laughs> a lot. Because, <laughs> you know, once you keep saying the story, you just right, right, you right. keep saying it so much. Like, Gary talks just, about his story. It's yeah. good. Right. It's That's how you become a great speaker because you just speak a lot, you know, and then you you, also, you become also a better copywriter because you have all these things that you yeah. memorize. And after, after a while, you don't have to use your brain power to memorize these things. It's and pattern you can recognition, go, bro. You know, think of something new. When I write ads, it's pattern recognition at this point. You know what I mean? I believe you. It's like I, not even that much like actual thinking in the copy. You. I know. I believe it. Yeah. I've seen you do it. <laughs> but man, this was a good podcast. This was great. It was, this was it absolutely was phenomenal. I mean, we had a lot of, lot of, we covered a lot of uh, a lot topics, of but you know. A lot of ground. A lot of, I liked it. Yeah. Yeah. I a loved lot of false it. starts, a lot of false ends. I, I went from like having... In the beginning, energy to, to like no energy, energy, and then like high energy, and then, then low energy. And it's like oh, high energy. He was like a wave. Yeah, you had really good energy throughout. That was great. No, your energy was the best. You know why? Thanks, bro. Because yours is constant. Appreciate it. Mine's like. Uh... <laughs> He's like, like no, some, did, I did, come on, come on, come on. Some no, topics no. are lit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have to be like that. Back to you, know? back you have to be like that to be a podcast host. Yeah. Because I'm not going to do it. Fuck like that. No, no. <laughs> you think I'm going to do it? Yeah. Fuck like that. I'm not even going to, I'm probably not going to do it even on my own podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm going to be this. the one going off on tangents. Like, <laughs> yo, you know, so you talk, yeah. tell me about that part, you know? Right. People like that too, dude. People yeah. love that. Well, that's crazy. Right. Everybody has all kinds of podcasts. Sure, but I don't like it, you know? I pain point that you're, cannot, you're current you're current no i go off it. on tangents a little too much mm. I can't, i'm kind of in the same boat that's why you said you're the same as me you know yeah it is the issue yeah. <laughs> all right guys this was phenomenal <sighs> all right bro i'm gonna do handshakes dude come on, come on baby ah! Ah! Freaky, ah! Freaky. Ah! all right guys no 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 keep it rolling is it rolling all right, guys. Thank you so much. This was the first kind of Ever. official podcast. Let's call this the Profitable Programmer Show. We had Aaron Burnath. We had who's a our product developer at cleverprogrammer.com. We had Penzen Fuljong, aka Zinni, founder of whatsdev.com. You can find him on YouTube. He has an Instagram as well. Let's pop his Instagram. Let's pop his Instagram. And you guys know me. This is Kazi. From cleverprogrammer.com. Here's my Instagram if you want to follow. But uh, if you enjoyed this podcast, please show it some love. We really would appreciate it. We beg you. I'm mean, begging is kind of weird, but whatever. <laughs> kind of weird, but whatever. Like yeah. I'm, I'm pretty humble, you know. I'm kind of humble. But anyways, you're, you're pretty humble. We would really appreciate it if you actually gave it a like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you're hearing this somewhere the else, the notification like, bell. The notification bell, and if you're hearing this summer, like on Spotify or something, and you want to stay tuned and you want to hear more of this, because we kind of got raw and stuff on this, like drop in the comments below what was what was something that you liked about this or some kind of feedback, what you thought about this, just so we could get your help. And I'll jump in there and I'll respond to every single one of you, just so we could get your help crafting the next shows to something you want to hear, you would enjoy. We want to bring you value. Okay, you are. You are really the host. We are just working for you and crafting this to your needs. With that said, fucking Mahatma, Mahatma Gandhi, Gandhi. Ma- Mahatma Gandhi. That's right, Gandhi. With that that's said, right. thank you guys so much for watching. We love your face. We do. This is Tenzin from WhatsApp.com, and uh, we will see you next. Uh, this is oh, Aaron shit. from, and this here. is Kazi, and we will see you in, in the, the next, next video. video.